have ignition, and we have liftoff of NASA's Calypso CloudSat spacecraft probing Earth's atmosphere to unravel the mysteries of clouds and climate change. Hi, I'm Nathan Chen, a computer science and economics student at the College of William & Mary. And I'm Grant Mercer. I'm studying computer science at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and we are the Calypso Crosscutting Team. The Calypso satellite, short for Cloud Aerosol LiDAR and Infrared Pathfinder Satellite Observations, provides new insight into the role that clouds and atmospheric airborne particles play in regulating the Earth's weather, climate, and air quality. The satellite is equipped with three nadir viewing instruments, one of which is called the Cloud Aerosol LiDAR with Orthogonal Polarization, or Calliope. Calliope provides high-resolution vertical profiles of aerosols and clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. Data collected by the Calypso satellite can be visualized to show different views of aerosols and help researchers track the movement of airborne particles and identify properties of them, such as smoke or dust. The current tools used to visualize this data, however, are outdated and in need of new features and updates. The problem is that these tools are written in an older proprietary language called IDL. This makes the software difficult to maintain, hard to upgrade, and requires a more specialized developer to work with the software. That's where the Calypso cross-cutting team comes in with Vocal. Vocal is developed as the successor to the current IDL visualization tool, being developed in Python 2.7 and built on an open source model. The application is designed for the community and by the community. Vocal takes future development in mind and promotes open source collaboration for developers taking part long after its initial release. This visualization shows the progress Grant and I have made over time working on Vocal by tracking the file changes, additions, and deletions. Vocal packs all the features of the previous IDL tool and more. Users can load and display Calypso data in the form of HDF files, zoom about the plot, LLs move left and right to view additional data. Data is plotted as time and altitude, with time being the x-axis and y being the altitude. Each pixel corresponds to a specific value, with its color being determined by the coronal map shown on the right. Once visualized, users can select certain regions of the plot by drawing polygons such as rectangles or connecting vertices. These regions can be later be used in a number of manipulations that will further allow researchers to take full advantage of what Calypso offers. Polygons can be assigned attributes and nodes. These can help researchers identify and track the movement of aerosols or clouds in the atmosphere. Once labeled, researchers can choose to share these objects personally by exporting the data in the form of a JSON file, which can be reloaded into a plot by other users to view your shapes. One of the best features Vocal offers is being able to store your shapes in a database. This database allows you to run queries for shapes of specific attributes, notes, time ranges, and more. Researchers can easily import and use the data provided inside these regions to further their studies. <laughs> 